I'm a big believer in spiritual warfare. I just read Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. I read that every day. It's very true. We do have to put on the full armor of God. I've been having a rough time lately. Um, not with drinking or with wanting to use drugs. Thank God that the obsession for those two things have been removed. It's just in the everyday life. You know, I'm not a prophet, a visionary, or anything like that, but during a guided meditation a few months ago, I saw with my eyes closed a very, very interesting plane of existence. In this plane of existence, as far as you can see, everything is gray. Um, now, in this plane of existence, Oh, this is hard to explain. It's as if there are red sinewy veins everywhere, but it's not bloody, it's not gory. It's almost as if you're traveling inside of a brain, inside of a cerebral cortex, so to speak. And the main goal is a silver sphere in the middle of this plane. Inside of that silver sphere is eternity, is love, is light. And it's hard to comprehend how everything beautiful in the entire universe and beyond exists in this little ball, in this vastness of this just dark dreariness. There are other little balls that are traveling quickly towards a sphere. It's very metaphorical. Um, the faster you're traveling towards the sphere, the closer you're getting to your enlightenment, the closer you're getting to God, the closer you're getting to understanding love and kindness and peace. But the faster you start to travel towards this ball, the stronger the demons are that are going to try to pull you down. And in this vision that I had, these balls that are traveling towards this sphere in the middle are nets being thrown up and I can't see the demons and it's very very metaphorical and these nets are catching these balls that are traveling towards that sphere and yanking them down and some of the spheres are traveling fast enough to burst through these nets and they continue towards their final destination because inside that sphere in the middle is everything Everything inside of that ball that contains love and light and God is greater than what's around it. It doesn't make sense to this mind and to this body. But in the spiritual realm it does. Because inside of that ball there's no time, there's no space, there's no anything. There's God. And where God is is love. I've been accelerating towards that ball very quickly in the last few years. And when I hit speed bumps, I hit them hard. And it's tough. There's a lot of praying going on. Yeah, I just needed to share that. Just in case anybody hears it, you know, you get my opinion on what's going on. It's tough. Drug addicts, alcoholics, sex addicts, food addicts, everything, everybody that's out there. I'll tell you what, I'll say a prayer for each and every one of you. Please say a prayer for me. I could definitely use it. The spiritual warfare thing is very, very true. Very, very real. I just pray I'll be able to understand it more and more one day get it finally and be able to apply Fusion 6, 10 through 18 to my life. The unfortunate part for me is that as my brain clears up more and more and the more sober I get, the more I try to understand everything. And it's hard for me to admit that there are things I cannot understand. But this too shall pass. I love you. Life is good.